from struggle or simmer to sizzling. Hello, I'm Adele McLean. Have you ever asked yourself what it might be like to sizzle in life? We think about sizzling as a barbecue, the of, of the flames and the, the fire jumping. I like to think about sizzling in my life. What does it mean to sizzle, to be alive, to be passionate, to be extraordinary, to fizz, to be energetic, such that people say, wow, I want some of what she's having, or I want some of what he's having. That's the way in which I attempt to live my life. I don't sizzle every minute of the day. No one can. That would be exhausting. But to have this energy where life is good and feeling like you're on a mission, you're going somewhere, you have a dream for your life and you're on the journey towards achieving it. That's what sizzling is for me. Too many people in my experience live in what I call struggle land. They're struggling all the time. There's no joy or little joy. Everything is an effort. Problems seem to be surrounding them at all times. No one's life is perfect. Certainly mine isn't. And yes, there are times when I struggle. I think the key in the moments of struggle is to look at the opportunity for learning. What is it that the struggle is giving us as a lesson for life? And if we can look at the, the moments in time, even if they're long moments of time, and take something from them, take a learning, take a lesson that we can use to evolve our lives to feel better about life life into the future that's a good thing i'm not really of the the view that things happen for a reason but i do believe that we can find meaning in things that do happen and when we're struggling there's always an opportunity for meaning even in the worst of times so I encourage you to look at your own life and the times when you've really struggled and while it was difficult and probably and possibly quite horrible, what can you take from that that was a lesson? What can you take that was good from that? Did you need to be in that ex experience in order for something to be good that's happening for you now? I would imagine that might be the case. So ponder that. What about simmering? So many people live in this the zone of everything's fine, everything's okay. And I personally think that's a, a very sad place to be, to live because it's only when we get towards the advanced years, the end of our lives, and we look back, too many people think, I wonder what if, the coulda, shoulda, woulda, or they live with, the, with regret. And when you're in the advanced years of, of your life, Sometimes it's too late to change things. So if you're living in what I call the simmer zone or simmer land, where everything is just fine, it's just going along, maybe it's time to shake yourself up and say, actually, do I really want the rest of my life to be like this? Is this how I planned my life to be? Is this all there is for me? And I would like to think the answer is no. But the thing is, if the answer is no, the only person who is going to change it is you. So what does it mean for you to be in sizzling? What would a sizzling life mean for you across all its dimensions, in your relationships, in your health, in your finances, in your experiences of the world, in, in your spirituality, in all those areas of life? What would it mean for you? Perhaps it's some food for thought. I invite you to think about the possibility of having a life that is sizzling. Not every day. It would be exhausting and you would be exhausting if you were sizzling every single moment of the day. But to have a life where you were able to look back and go, wow, what a ride that was. I had such a good time. I had my good times, my sad times. I had my moments of living in, in the, the simmer land, the fine land. But actually, overall, my life sizzled. And if my time is up now, then I've, I've had a good life. I think that's a really good place to, to be in life. So think about what sizzling means for you and go for it. 
I'm Adele McClay. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed uh, this, this video and you would like to uh, subscribe to my channel, I'd be absolutely thrilled if you did. And you can do that by clicking the link that's just there. If you would like to be part of my email community where I share ideas and thoughts on business and life that, that I don't share on YouTube or on social media, then you can click the link that's up there and that will head you in the direction of becoming part of my community. So thank you again for watching this video and until next time, be alive, be passionate, be extraordinary in business and life as you define it. Bye.